Your career is zero. Your relationship is zero. Am I talking to you? Your finances is zero. Your mental peace is zero. 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 Your mental peace is zero. 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 Beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, for tuning in. My name is Tanya Levy. I'm a vocal coach from Germany, living here with my studio, Stage Art Studio in Singapore. This is my small little world. It would make me so happy if you just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, watch my vlog from Manila 2018, watch the videos where I met the TNT boys. They were also here in Singapore in my studio. We had a vocal lesson together in a great time. So also please watch that video as well and watch my time in Manila and it would be, make me so happy if you subscribe. Now there was some gossip and some drama all over the internet regarding Marcelito Pomoy's song choice. Now just let me tell you my students that have participated in the semi-finals and in the show of The Voice Kids, The Voice Kids Germany, The Voice Kids Russia, they told me the same. My student from The Voice Russia said to me that she couldn't choose her song for the end Initial, initial TV performance they gave her a song choice that she didn't really like that she didn't could relate to it and it was also very difficult for her to sing and then when she was singing that song the judges told the, her that the song choice was not good well <laughs> you chose it right another student of mine told me as well that um, for the voice Germany for the semi-finals they gave her a rap song and she has nothing of a rap voice. She is a really nice belter. She has a great, big, beautiful voice. She likes Celine Dion. She likes a lot of big, big, heavy songs. And they gave her a German rap song. And that was just the downfall. And I immediately told to the mother, when they give you specific song choices, then this is not for you to win. It's basically for you actually to lose, kind of. stage till the smallest time wow. <laughs> as it can be barely even friends then somebody lands unexpectedly just a little chance Just, just random facts, I like the stage, I like at least the whole setting, right? Uh, the song, yeah, I mean, it's a cute, nice song, right? There's nothing big to say about it, uh, about Beauty and the Beast. is a musical theater song or slash Disney song, call it as you like. Is it a competition song? Necessarily not, right? Uh, definitely not a competition song, definitely not a song to stand out. It would be not a song choice I would give to my students, in fact. Uh, yeah, so he's trying his best. Obviously, he's a little bit nervous. Um, well, I would be nervous too. I would sing a song that I didn't like and cannot connect with. But you have to make the best of it. There's already some things that he's adding. He's adding some humming in the beginning. He's adding, uh, yeah, some humming in the beginning. Um, adding a little bit, making some, uh, some slight riffs just to make it a little bit more personal, you know, and not just make it 100% cover. Um, but yeah, also it's really interesting to see how he changes his sound production. In some of the vowels, he's really going from a Mid, mid mid production into much further and into a much more um, brighter tone so he's this switch you know this is really interesting uh, and a little bit of those nasal consonants what I, that that were just the things that I mentioned last time small to say the least but a little scared one prepared Yeah, so you can hear there's a little bit a little bit of the knurdle going on. And then in that last one, bull rolls a little skirt, neither one prepared. Now you see I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that was with a little bit of little bit of that knurdle on the back. And then he re released that and made it much more open. Bull a little skirt, neither one prepared. You see that you hear the difference. 
of the different voice colors he is using there. Yeah, so what happened here was you heard that was this oh, 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 and then usually when it comes to songwriting, there would be a climax following. You know, so whenever you hear these drums, the music is the big indicator for you to hear when there's a climax happening within the song, but there wasn't. So what happened was there was this oh, oh, and then it stayed on that. So what, what, what? Yeah, and there were also the drums there, so usually we were supposed to hear like a really high note, or that's how some musics are, are written, right? Now right here. Yeah. So what ha really happened is that this, it was not going any further, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Um, you know what I mean, usually we would hear something different, like a really high climax or him really belting something, something out of here right now. That was great, but... judges are saying but uh, just a second yeah you already saw the climax the climax was just missing there beauty and the beast song is not really progressing at some time because you have all the time the same kind of like key okay in the end it goes a little bit higher um, but then you have the same key it's not really a dynamic song it just goes oh to say the least both a little scared neither one but, but you know he just he's not going any further especially when it comes to competitions uh, a lot of competitions are aiming for this money note uh, the money note is a term that was invented back in the 80s you know a lot of tv shows they need viewers they they, they live from you viewers this is how they make money they need to generate views they need to yeah so in money notes are a great tool because you can see the reactions of the judges when someone is hitting an incredible high note and people are like oh my god what's happening and this is something that they are using of course as a marketing tool now what happened here was the money note was not like you know in his last time to say goodbye um the last the last note of the song da, da, da. well that was bombastically and the music was giving you that you know there was this the music is coming to an end and you release with this really high note so sometimes the climax is in the middle uh, or it's in the end. I just want to watch what the judges are saying, okay? Just a little bit of... Marcelita Heidi! I mean Marcelito! Hello. I know this is the third time that you've performed in front of us, yes, but yes. it just never gets old. Like when those voices are all coming out and it's like so many voices inside of your body, it is just incredible over and over and over again. Thank you. And I can feel it from the reaction from the audience too. I don't know, have you guys heard him before? It's so, it's so amazing. And you're also very, very smart because you always pick- I just wanna add something here. I never understand why in these shows there is no professional vocal coach sitting. In all of those kind of shows in Germany, there's not one professional voice teacher sitting there. It's just ridiculous because 
I think it's from a standpoint of a professional vocal coach, you would understand how difficult it actually is to be that flexible and to switch those muscles because these are two, we are talking about muscle work here and the muscles can be very stiff and the way that muscles hold on to chest voice without releasing and making that flip possible that is a big issue you know and there should be always a professional vocal coach sitting there why don't you just guys take one from youtube obviously two years Two years of YouTube vocal coaches do reactions. Just take someone. Tara Simon is sitting in Atlanta. Take Tara Simon. She's absolutely stunning. She's great, you know. And and these vocal coaches could give a little bit more of understanding of how difficult it is. This is a, sh a show where a lot of singers appear, right? <laughs> songs that we all know and love, so we can kind of follow and we know what it sounds like. And you do it so well. It's incredible. Thank you. Howie. Oh, Marcelito, when I first saw you, you blew me away because it was the surprise of it all. Like, we don't expect both voices to come out of one person. Yeah. And I thought, is this a gimmick? And then the second time I saw you, I enjoyed it just as much, yeah. if not more. And I feel the same thing about tonight. You're making the right choices on the right song. Yeah. Great job tonight. Thank you so much. Alicia. Marcelito, the song choice was Perfect, and I actually think that you've upped your game from the last time we heard you sing. The high notes on that song were beautiful. Thank you you absolutely much. nailed it tonight, and I couldn't be happier for you. Yay. Love you. Thank you, Simon. It's just, it's just, isn't it? It's just very interesting because um, the song choice was not his, and that was leaked. And now all of the coaches say how incredible it is that he chose that song. Plot twist. Again, I uh, go and watch how people on YouTube are putting closure to those shows. There is a lot of videos where people are speaking about their experience, how they give away their rights, how they speak about that, uh, how things are cut it, uh, how things are edited together. People are speaking about that they cannot make their own song choices. So this is a very scripted show. It obviously, like. 99% of TV. <laughs> I think the only time where TV, TV was less, less scripted it was maybe 15 years ago when there was Flavor of Love and I don't know, uh, dis Dismissed or whatever the shows were there at, at MTV in the 90s. MTV doesn't exist anymore in Germany by the way. Um, but if real this is a lot of TV that is scripted. There are a lot of people in this show that make a lot of money out of it. They want to make damn sure that everything is going perfectly there, right? So let's not be naive there. You're a very nice, very talented guy, I gotta tell you. You really, really are. And this was even better than the last performance you did. Much, much better. However, if it was my choice on a night like this, I would have done something less predictable, um, which would have- predictable? The songs he's chosen, they're very safe, they're very kind of, you know, I get it, they're popular songs, but I just think on tonight, if he had done something out of his comfort zone, like a shock to everybody, like, my God, he's chosen this song, um, that could have given you another moment, because I think you've got a massive career in front of you, I really, really do. I think that is what, what Simon Cowell would probably refer to is not only the, the song choice, because yes, Marcelito goes for safe song choices, songs that he knows in and out. But I think what would be also the topping is to find a middle harmony. Now, you have this, this low chest voice parts, you have the soprano, but that might be just a different harmony that he could use as a topping. You know what I mean? Um, because if he is that flexible, he can't sorry, he can't allow himself to, um, to make a, a bit more risky song choice. Depends on if he has a vocal coach at that stage, if he has someone that is good with music to say, okay, we can find like a middle voice that you can flip in between. That, that might be a task to do, but I'm sure that he could also do it, you know, because he know that what he's doing already now is already safe. It is true. This is already safe. He knows how to sing a low chest voice, a high soprano voice. He's very fine with it. But perhaps 
there would bite, might be a different harmony or might be a, a little bit more uh, mixing at some point, you know, because he belts a lot there, right? And then, but maybe we can use a little bit of mix. I don't know, you know, but I, th that's what I think that he's also might referring to it. Uh, very, very, uh, very interesting. Um, everyone was, uh, I do still think that Beauty and the Beast was not the optimal sometimes. I missed the climax there. I feel that this is a song that has a lot of times, I don't know, I felt that something was missing there and it didn't really connect it with me emotionally like if then with time to say goodbye because also the way that the song is built time to say goodbye uh or prayer you know the song how just the way they are built beauty and the beast song is not really progressing at some time because you have all the time the same kind of like key okay in the end it goes a little bit higher um but then you have the same key it's not really a dynamic song it just goes Supposed to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared. But you know, he just, he's just not going any further. And I think with that time to say goodbye, for example, you have that time you, see, you can see that slow progress into getting into that really high note, just catapulting you into, into the moon, into the sky. So I would go more for those kind of songs, but... Yeah, I'm excited to see what is happening so far. Also, let me know in the comment sections what you think. Um, of course, I wish him the best of luck and of, of success. Neither way, despite despite of um, despite of everything that goes on in the show, it's still a great exposure. It's still a great opportunity for him. And as an individual standpoint, these are experiences that no one really makes. You know, no one gets, not everyone gets the chance to sing on on the platform like that. So this is very, very unique in his own individual journey. And then the rest is just, you know, how we feel about America's Got Talent. But then you know what, if you are applying for the show, you know that you might have to face some contract issues. You know that you've been taking off your rights to make decisions. You've been taking off your rights and how things are edited. You know, these are things that you have to consider and that's not only with this show, this is with all the other shows. I mean, a lot of shows are like this. Um, so we really have to, to consider that things are pre-recorded, um, that maybe not everything is live, maybe not everything is sung live. So we cannot be naive just because it's on, on TV, especially because it's on TV, it's a lot of times uh, fake. So my friends, I hope I see you on Instagram. I'm there with my students, with my life here in Singapore. And it would make me extremely happy if we can connect also on Instagram. Give it a thumbs up. Let's see what's, what's happening, what will happen. And keep me in the loop, keep me updated. And big kisses from the human Singapore. And I see you in my next video. Don't forget to watch my money love vlogs, yeah? And all of my um, of my time in uh, yeah in the Philippines. And sorry today I was a little bit actually I was sick the past uh, last week, and uh, I didn't feel good. And I still wasn't really recovering. I still don't really feel really good and not so energetic like usually. Uh, so I might come across a little bit tired tired today, and I am. So I'm still recovering to be honest. I hope that the makeup hides hides that because I'm trying to ah, put a lot of makeup there. And get that lift, you see that lift here? Yeah, okay, I'll lift up.